experiment is called the Dancing Worms and Acid-Base Chemical Reaction Experiment. And this is what your final product will look like when the worms are dancing. Hi everyone and welcome to the Dancing Worms Experiment. Throughout this experiment, we will be experiencing a chemical reaction between baking soda and vinegar, which causes the worms to dance. I hope you all enjoy this experiment and enjoy the fun! Next, we will be going over the materials you will need for this experiment. You will need about four to five gummy worms, a cutting tool, two clear or glass plastic cups or jars, baking soda, vinegar, a fork or a spoon, and water. Now the first step to this experiment is cutting the gummy worms in half. So I'm going to be using my knife and cutting the worm. We're going to need about four to five gummy worms. Okay, and then at the end they will look like this. Here are the gummy worms cut in half. As you cut the gummy worms, you should cut them widthwise, and if needed, you can also use scissors. Okay, so I have my three-fourths cups of warm water, and you will be taking two to three uh, spoonfuls of baking soda and pouring it into the water. Now for this experiment, I'm going to do two spoonfuls, and then you just stir it up. Okay, and after stirring, it should look like this. And then we're going to now add the gummy worms into the water. And then we're going to stir it again. And now we wait and let them soak for 15 minutes. As you wait for 15 minutes for the worms to soak, it is important to know that we wait 15 minutes in order for the worms to soak up the baking soda mixture. While the gummy worms are soaking for 15 minutes, make a prediction about how you think they will move. Will they move fast? Will they bounce around in the cup? Next, we are going to fill our second glass cup with vinegar. Now, we're going to fill it about halfway of the glass so that the worms have room to move around and dance. So after about 15 minutes of your worm soaking, you are now going to pour the vinegar into the cup with the worms. So what just happened is that baking soda and vinegar are two substances and when they are mixed together, they create a reaction of carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is a gas. So basically, when this reaction is turning a liquid into a gas, and that is what causes the worms to bump into each other and dance inside the glass. The experiment shows how chemical reactions occur in the real world, even though we cannot see them all the time. The environment consists of many reactants and chemical reactions that happen every day. Therefore, this experiment is an introduction to how it all works and how it connects to the environment. It is a very easy representation of how mixing two substances together creates a reaction.